I just have a gut feeling. Do not, do not take my word. And again, I'm saying do not take my word for it. Do not go around telling people it's going to be here. I think it's going to be here. Polarium doesn't want us to get those freebies. So they're putting it way at the beginning where we can't just fuse these epics and get 100 points or uh, 350 points for them. They want to push it first and then make the summon rush happen later on. Look at this. They usually do summon rush first and then they do champion chase. This is the only fusion that we've ever had a hero's path within it, and it's actually shown in the calendar. And they're referring to the Armand's event where it showed up here. I looked at this calendar and my thinking was, hey, they're going to have Freya's Deck of Fates because Thor's fusion event calendar has now been released. I know a lot of people are probably going to ask me, hey, when do you think they're going to do the guaranteed for Freya, the Deck of Fates? And I'm thinking over here, initially my instinctual response was going to be right here because it doesn't make sense from Polarium's standpoint to allow us to double or triple, however you want to dip it, here and here where they're already doing events. It doesn't make sense for them to allow us the opportunity to, you know, get extra points. They wouldn't make it that easy for, your, uh, easy for us. I don't think any business would. We have two summoning quote unquote events here, one here and then one here. And I think Polarium's viewpoint is they want to make sure everybody has a good opportunity to get Thor by working this here. And then they want to allow you, quote unquote, a chance to get any missing fragments that you might have at the very end. See, there's 50 here, but all these other ones only give 25. That's how I see them. But we're going to see what people say. Cholas88 says, I want Thor and Freya. I know that there is a 210x for her during this champ chase. I have two Lego Fragment champions to pull, then Sacreds till I get enough points. But will Deck of Fates be um, during this fusion? Should I skip the first summon rush and wait for the quote unquote bonus summon rush in the hopes that it's during the Deck of Fate? I don't want to pull all my shards on the first summon rush, then have the Deck of Fate at the same time as the second one and nothing is going to be saved for it. So she's saying, hey, I, I don't know if this is going to be the Deck of Fates. I don't, and she's trying to get Freya also. And I'm saying Cholas because Cholas is a female, but she's she's wondering. So it's a good question. I know a lot of people are, are, are wondering this as well. Um, they say, my guess is it's going to be after the fusion. They would have shown if it's part of the fusion. It's very likely that we're going to get... This guy says they would have shown if it's part of the fusion. <laughs> Polarium laughing. Because uh, they wouldn't. It's very likely that we're going to get a Titan event for Thor's five-star soul, which is going to be huge, and I'm going to be going out of my way for it. I've heard people say that Thor is like the A-tier, S-tier damage dealer for Hydra, only bested by Trunda. And that's a huge statement. Then there's going to be the deck of fates for her as well. Pretty sure that's my guess though. Pretty sure it's happened before where, for example, there's a dragon tournament which has fusion fragment fusion fragments and also a deck of fate giving points for artifacts and champ training rewarding different things. This is the only fusion we've had where there was a hero's path within it and it's shown in the calendar. He's referring to the Armands where Polarium did disclose right off the rip that, hey, there is a hero's path during the Armand's fusion. The confusion is intentional. They want to bait people into making inefficient choices, and they're so goddamn good at it. I'll throw my guess at between champion training and champion training tournament. Four and a half, five day issues between those events seems unusual. No champ training or pulling events for most of a work week. Could be normal, but that's my guess. This guy says it's going to happen sometime after September 19th. Now I'm thinking that's going to be the case. Why? Why do people think that's going to happen after September 19th? Just a guess, but I feel like the deck of fate for Freya will be during the soul event that they will normally have after the fusion. So they're saying the deck of fate for Freya is going to happen during the soul for Thor, the Thor soul chase. That's probably correct. I'm praying the deck of fate is going to use souls will make it so much easier to get Thor's soul if they do an event for that too. True. I could see them doing shards for Freya, then have a hero's path using soul stones to get her soul. Oof. I'm guessing they're going to tie it in with Thor's five star soul, possibly same deck of fate with high, incredibly high points total that you'll have to choose Freya or the soul. Or Thor's soul will be a titan event and you'll earn titan points and Freya via deck of fates. They did this during Podrig or whatever, Saint, yeah, Podrig, Grand Oak Podrig. Him as a guaranteed and a soul for the fusion. I forgot who it was. Yeah, I forgot to. I think it was actually Armand's, no? The Asgard event runs until October 24th, so my guess is that it's going to be somewhere in October. That's a fair point. 
Whenever Polarium feels like they can make the Asgard event runs until October 24, so my guess is going to be somewhere in October. That's a fair point too. It could be in October. Or wherever Polarium feels like they can make the most money. If people are spending their shards and don't have many left, that's when they're going to spring it on us. Yeah, they want to drain us of our shards. That's why they did the, the two 10x for Odin just now. Uh, right before the, the fusion. I'd imagine the deck of fate will be after everyone's used their shards to complete the Thor fusion, so after Thor. I'm going to see if the first summon event has Freya as a progressive chance. If not, I'll wait for the bonus one as I don't have 20 sacreds. Hope she's the progressive chance. I recently did a collab with HDub and we tested out Freya. And personally, like, I think, like, I was all gung ho for her. And I was like, yeah, let me go ahead and try her out and go for her, summon for her. But I don't know. I'm not. I'm not feeling it. I mean, we'll see how it turns out. How how I feel when the actual moment comes. But as it is right now, I'm leaning towards no. Now, uh, I know it's kind of wishy washy, but like I said in my first couple of videos talking about Freya, again, she wasn't ever really a champion, at least for me, that I felt I needed to spring on. Like I did not feel like, oh, I absolutely fucking need to get Freya. It's always been. If I feel with you know what I'm saying and he says they're going to put Freya the guaranteed Freya wherever they are going to make the most money which makes sense right again we know the beast that we're working with we already know how they do it is what it is as the player base as the community that's what we're going to have to expect where they're going to um, place Freya's deck of fates right I think it's going to be here I just have a gut feeling do not do not take my word and again, I'm saying do not take my word for it. Do not go around telling people it's going to be here. Take my gut feelings, which has no basis, just very little basis. I'm just trying to make an educated guess here based on what I was feeling and what I saw here on Reddit that I think it's going to be somewhere around here. I don't think it's going to be during any anywhere within the two weeks that Thor is out for the fusion, but I think it's going to be after. I think it's going to be right here or probably sometime after September 19th. There are places we can double dip. I'm pretty sure you've seen some other content creators talking about when you want to do certain events, but you know, I'll throw my piece in because it also kind of helps me recap and organize my thoughts of when I'm going to do it because I'm doing it on two accounts, right? Uh, we have the Spider Tournament right now. We have Champion Chase. We got uh, Classic Arena. So Classic Arena isn't really hard. Champion Chase is kind of, you, you guys already know how that, how that goes. You pull anything and you get points based on anything that you pull. We have Spider Tournament. We have Artifact Enhancement, which oftentimes does go hand in hand. Right now, if you wanted to, uh, it's a good time to gear cleanse. In fact, I was thinking about doing a gear cleanse. It takes forever to do, but I might do it. Um, Spider Tournament, you usually get a lot of silver, and then you blow it on the Artifact Enhancement events, so that goes pretty well. Champion Chase, Champion Training events do very well. Hopefully, during this Champion Trace, uh, chase you pull the voids that you need right here diana gloom piercer that you need to fuse for thor so that you don't end up having to do a bunch of events or you can skip an event or two but it's a void so if you blew all your voids then you're kind of shit out of luck for that but yeah uh champion chase and champion training could actually also coincide but what i want what i want to um i'm stumbling over my words here what i do want to point out is the spider tournament the champion training event and the dungeon divers event this is an event, this is a triple dipping area right here. Starting Friday, September 6th, when the Dungeon Divers starts, is when I would recommend that you do your Spider Tournament. Now, if you know of a hard Spider 10 team that could do Spider and Champion Training, because like I want to try try throwing in Champions at the same time that I'm uh, doing Dungeon Divers, right? If I could do Spider, Champion Training, and Dungeon Divers at the same time, that's what, what I would like to do, right? So. Uh, Spider ends on the on Sunday, and then we roll into Dragon. Dragon's a little bit easier because I already have a solo champion for Dragon, and I just throw in some food there. But you could also finish up Dungeon Divers here, or if you wanted to, you could wait to do Dungeon uh, Dragon and then wait for the second Dungeon Divers event right here, right? So I would probably end up doing that. You could also uh, do the second Artifact Enhancement event. I mean, you, you're going to need to, so do that. But I would wait to do Dragon Tournament because more than likely you're going to blow through your Spider Tournament and finish off, sh uh, finish off your points for Dungeon Divers here. So I would wait until September 10th to do Dragon Tournament. And then you could also finish off the tail end for Dungeon Divers with Fire Knight, or you can wait to do Fire Knight on... September 14th, when the third Dungeon Divers event shows up, which is also when the Summon Rush happens. And of course, 
champion training, right? Because the summoning events and the trainings also kind of coincide. I would have liked to see champion chase later on versus seeing summon rush later on. Because with champion chase, what we can do, and I think Polarium's getting smart about this, is we're waiting to fuse our epics here right because that's like what 250 350 points but polarium doesn't want us to get those freebies so they're putting it way at the beginning where we can't just fuse these epics and get 100 point or uh, 350 points for them they want to push it first and then make the summon rush happen later on where i think it's usually like the summon rush first and then champion training am i right right yeah look at this they usually do summon rush first and then they do champion chase that's the way i remember it I could be wrong, but that's the way I remember it. This is like the first time I think that I can point out that they've done that they've done uh, the champion chase and then the summon rush. But uh, I digress from that. Artifact enhancement, champion training coincides with summoning, so do all your training upgrading there. And then classic arena takedowns never been an issue. Uh, you finish off your dungeon divers alongside the ice golem tournament just a reminder i'm buying a random subscriber a gold pass when i reach 3,000 subs shorty jumping in the front row i put a face on my wood like a totem pole